What's up peeps, it's Sorel here again. Um, this video is about decorating, as promised. We've got our new decorations in today. Um, I'm using my friend Rose Calf's Calf to do the decorating on today because she's got a lot more coupons than I have. She's got more money than I have and I'm going to be doing minimal decorating but with hers, as always, I mean I decorated this place for her during the Halloween thing. It took me a good few hours to do. As you can see, it's quite detailed. She's got a lot of food that needs picking up, but I'm not going to be touching any of the food or doing any orders or trucks or anything like that today. So we will start with, I mean, I've already done this um, just so that I don't have to make a long video like my first one was. Hopefully no one fell asleep watching that one. Um, and I'm not so tired today because it's a bit earlier. So more energy to do some decorating. This is the best part of the game for me. So basically what we've done is we've kept this layout by going into the extra layouts. So you've got your active layout and then what you do is you copy the layout. I'm not going to do that now because I've already done it and I don't want to get rid of the one that I've started working on now. So you copy your layout which means you'll have two exactly the same. And instead of working on your extra layout using the inventory which has a list of stuff and it just takes you forever to get through it you set your empty place which you, you can empty as soon as you've copied um, the layout you've been using if we go into it and show you what I've done anyway so so far all I've done is I've, I've taken out all the essentials because you can't make this place active until you've done that so I've just done that beforehand so you don't have to watch me doing that bit um, so we'll, our trees are out. I've bought a few um, walls. I've bought all the tables. I've bought both types of the tables. It's always handy to have both. Um, so I'm in the process of defining this area right here for our machines, our cooking area, and our crops, and also the farm animals if we can fit them in there. Um, and then we've got the rest of this area to decorate with. Her place is smaller than mine is so I can't go nuts on it but um, this is basically where I'm at at the moment so if we carry on with what I was doing just before I showed you so we're working on the main layout here not the extra layout because on the extra layout you can't buy the walls so you have to stack all your walls up on your main layout and make a mess of your main layout before you can move on to decorate in and as I said the inventory is a killer when you've got so many things in it and you have to go through all the old decorations to get to the new ones so we try to avoid that in this scenario let's move these out of the way for now and I can understand people are impatient about this because it's quite fiddly it takes time it's difficult to think of new layouts as well but I'm going with obviously the decorations are kind of telling me what way to go here and that is farmhousey because it's the harvest um, event coming up soon so let's just move the rest of these here and we've got one more machine we can line up our farm animals at the back now one of the main things when you're decorating the most important thing is that you can get to stuff without tapping on other things because that's just infuriating when you're trying to do events and whatever else um, if you're tapping on a machine and you're meant to be picking something else up and your fridge is full that's a nightmare right so what I'm going to do is to conserve some space here we're going to put the crops here but they're too close to the cow sheds as you can see but we can get around that problem by placing the cow shed in an area where it's not going to get in the way and placing the smaller item behind the crops and bearing in mind we need to put walls on this side as well I try not to use up the space at the back for walls when it's a smaller place so we've got these as they are you can always move these two machines either side so that you've got a bit more space to extend your crops inwards this way now I've got a thing about being asymmetrical or making sure things are even and this isn't doing that for me so let's change our minds on this bit the other thing is if you're placing your uh, crops separately as well it helps you because if you're trying to pick up sweet corn and you're getting sugar cane instead that's not going to be something you want while you're in the middle of trying to play so we've got this layout, that could do, again, it's not even, but never mind, that's not going to get even. Okay, so we've got that, and then what we can do is buy a few more walls. 
Oh no, hang on a minute. We need to set this as active first because that's what I was saying about buying. So the decision I've come to is that I'm going to put the animals, some of the animals in this room, which I've created, we need to put a floor in. And over here we've got the indoor bit, so what I'm going to do is move these tables so that they are on a kind of balcony. I'm going to make it into a balcony. So these people are sitting outside, but we're going to make it look as if it's kind of semi-outside. Of course we don't have roof and stuff like that on this game, but we can make it look like it's kind of half outside. So, like with a shelter, okay, let's just make sure we get that even. And then we've got this lovely farm fence, and we've also got the hedge. Hmm, which one can I use? What's the best thing to do here? Let's check the garden stuff out, see what else they have. Sometimes they have some hedge type of stuff in the garden area as well. See the hammock would look nice where the um, maze is going to be. And then we've got the indoor section, so we've got some lights here. Okay, this is something we definitely, expressly, I've been asked to put this out. And I'm going to buy two of these. So what we're going to do is put one in the middle here, and then one in the middle inside as well. That's perfect. Nicely lined up. Um, so we're going to have to split these tables up slightly. They might not be able to go lengthways. Let's have a look. Or we could just make a little cosy fireplace over here. We could even turn these tables so they face this way and move them out to the side so that we can have a seating area in the middle. Now, when you place things too close to the wall, it doesn't look great. So if you have one chair showing, one chair not showing. And then again, we've got the situation of we want everything to be kind of asymmetrical. It does look better. And leaning things to walls, a bit of a pet hate of mine. Oh, that looks good. I'm very happy with that. Let's put the floor down. Let's choose the floor. I think we're not going to put the leafy floor on that bit. We've got the rustic floor with the bricks. That could look really nice. Let's try that out. It could be that, you know, you get bored of using the same decorations and the Tuscan events not long left us. So it might be boring, but we'll have a look at that in a bit. And then on the outside, we need something like a wooden deck. Let's go through this. What's the best thing to do? I'm a bit disappointed that Food Street haven't put the lovely, lovely planks that they had. Oh, last year with these decorations, they had this brown wooden floor like a can't explain it. it's just the grain was so visible and i haven't managed to buy that yet we've got the oak plank here which she hasn't bought i wonder if we should i'm gonna have to go for that one it's a little bit darker than i wanted it to be but we can't do much about that and then to because that floor's so dark i'm gonna put a table and chairs a table and sofa over here we'll sort that out in a minute all right we don't have a sofa with these decorations as far as i know but that's where older decorations come into play let's have a look what we've got was it here or in the garden bit i'm not sure okay it's here we've got the rattan Okay, that'll do. And we've got the two. So now you can see it's coming along nicely. There's some stuff going on that I'm very happy about. We could put these out. They're from the Tuscan event. The condiments and the wine would look nice with this. Let's put the wine out. Every restaurant has wine, don't they? And then we've got the small wine racks. One over here. Okay, I think that's enough for in there. We could have some candles as well, they're from the Halloween event, but they do just look so nice. I think they go with what we've got. They could go outside, but I think I'm going to put them inside. You can just see the tips of the candles, that'll do. Okay, so we've got that bit over and over with. And what is it that I need? Oh yes, we're going to look at the lighting that they have. Also, they have these autumn flower beds, they look really nice. So it's a uh, case between, well, I need to decide whether it's fencing or flower beds, or do we go for... I'm going to scroll through all those again. So let's, here they are. So these lights, oh, I love these. I'm going to put one either side of the doors. So we get four of these. And I'm going to put the windows in. That looks cosy already. So let's get the windows. Again, I'm trying to make this asymmetrical, so I'm going to use some small windows to fill up those bits. This looks amazing. There you go. And you can see already it's coming along nicely. So I'm going to start laying out the maze bit now and show you what I've done once I've done it. So this is what I've come up with so far. I'm not too sure about it. Um, still work in progress. Um, the green looks a bit too vibrant next to the yellow hedge. And I think in turn it makes the yellow hedge look even yellower. So I'm not too happy with it right now. But it's one of those things you need to keep moving stuff around until you are happy with the result. don't really know what to make of it at this stage, but you're going to have to keep working with this and see what you end up with. Um, I don't want to block the staff in because when you do that they start tossing plates everywhere, even though it's quite funny to watch. It can be a bit annoying. So, I don't know, I mean, you want to kind of do things that are going to be a bit more purposeful 
rather than just doing it for the sake of it. Um, it could look good, but right, I'm just going to buy some trees and some mushrooms and stuff to try to see if this uh, green and yellow business is going to be sorted out. Because at the moment, it's quite difficult to make all this blend. So, maple tree, that could go there. And we've got some autumn golden trees. These will actually look quite good here. One there. One here. Generally do try to buy everything because you do end up regretting it if you don't. So to break up this floor a little bit because it's a bit too leafy. Could do something like this. Maybe that's a bit too much of breaking up. And then we're going to put some functionals out. Um, this apple bobbling tub is brilliant, I love that. We put that there. Functionals are always really handy too. Got the autumn picnic. Now we need to go down the list and find all the other functionals now. So things like jukebox, automatically this kind of stuff just kind of makes it messy really. So let's just take them out and see what we've got. So I know there's going to be a lot of functionals here and we're going to struggle to put them anywhere. But we need our functionals, we can't do without those. They make money for you while you're not in the game. And they do look nice, they're so cutely done, I love them. Even though they do also add to the clutter, if you're a minimalist you're not really going to want these out but it's okay, we can handle this. It's just a matter of putting things in the right places, like the cake could go where the staff work. And we've got these mimis, there's a lot of these. So let's just line them up neatly. Functionals I think is the hardest part of the decorating process, believe it or not, for me, because as I said, they do make it look a bit overcrowded, it gets a bit messy. Now that window's turned in so we can't put anything there unless we turn it outwards. And let's do that. And let's do that there as well, that means the door has to turn. So we can fit some more things, some more mimis over here. What else have we got? Okay, there's no more mimis, so we might as well get that one in with these. Um, things like the parrot, they're all quite high up, so you could put them there. The cat, we could just put her somewhere in the corner. The dog's kennels always look good in the garden area. I'm just going to line them up here, and then we can move them about and play around with it. These um, functions such as the tiger. I really love their beds, I think it definitely is used more of a feature than the bed, so I love that green hand from the Halloween. Another cat, we can put her next to this one. It's nice to try and group your stuff a little bit because then you'll remember where they are. Zebra, that will also go with this farmy theme. And then... Just got a few more left now. And we are nearly finished. Oh, there's that horrid reminder of the battery again. This game takes up a lot of your battery. It's worth it, but it's very difficult to keep up with it. Uh, my phone's just about knackered now. Okay, we can have some music in here. That blends in really well, you hardly see it. Christmas tree, Christmas is coming up. So let's pop this somewhere where it's going to be a centerpiece. Right there, that looks so good there. Um, the Japanese doesn't go with what we've got here. I'll hold on that, to that a little bit. Of course, we're going to want to put it out because it's money. Great press, that could go between the trees or something. Now this is where things get a bit icy. These ones take up immense amounts of space. So we could always put the swan lake over there. We could team these two up. So the tree looks a bit lonely anyway. Put those two together. Um, what else have we got? This could always go here instead. And we could have this over here somewhere. And push that to the side. Once again, a matter of it needs to be even. It's a killer. Right, I don't know if this will look nice now without the stone floor. Let's try that out. Um, Swan Lake. I actually really regret um, upgrading the Swan Lake. I think it looked better before the bunting. Right, so we've got some popcorn. Basically this bit that we've got here, the only bit we've got left that, that we can actually use now, we will have to basically squash everything into that area. Now sometimes things like this, it's just basically a floor, but you know you do need your customers to be able to get to it. Of course they teleport. So let's make some space and then we'll think about the last three, four items. As a centerpiece the flamingo fountain would be really nice over here. Um, I'm going to start dotting things around a little bit now. So if that goes there, this goes here. I'm kind of trying to blend them in. And put things where they're just going to be out of the way. Out of the way, but they have to look nice. This is the thing. We've got another bit that we can have music here. And we've got this second anniversary jukebox, which could be for outside. We've got this, which goes in here. These ones. That makes them complete. 
the ghost. We try to find some way of camouflaging it because it's not really. We'll put it over here. It's not really something we want to accentuate at the moment because it doesn't go to our decor. I love it, but still. So I'm going to carry on trying to just shove these to the sides. Now, animals, they do get stuck everywhere. We can always take out one of these so they've got somewhere to walk through and kind of camouflage that bit. It just means that they're amongst the trees, which is fine. Now this, go here nicely. So we've got a picnic table. The dogs can go over here. Popcorn, we've got a cinema screen. Where could that go? Um, shut that to the side a little bit. This is where things start getting a bit squashed up. But you've got no choice in the matter. You just have to do what you can. That was a nice centerpiece, but we kind of lost that now. I think we need to... How it look with some grass? I don't think it will look good. Um, maybe we should just put a bit of the oak plank. Let's see how that looks. That's a kind of decking area for all these. I'm not sure. Okay, we'll stop at the Swan Lake bit. Click that bit. Now, the chocolate fountain could go next to the spa. This could go over here. And so can that one. Coffee machine, I generally like to put that inside. Or that'll do. Okay, it's not going to go there because of the window. We have to hide that one, it doesn't match with the theme. Let's put this one next to it so that... It's another thing out of the way. Now, we need to get that TV screen out. Don't quite know where we're going to put it. Let's get the last of the functionals out now. So we've got the flamingo thing, which looks rather nice over here. Um, hot springs. Will that fit there? I'm squashing it up again because I don't know if I'm going to have enough space to put everything. Okay, that's the last of it. Now, this pinball machine needs to be a little bit out of the way as well. Let's swap these. Put this over here. It's starting to come together now, really well. We just need that cinema now. So... that here. I like to put some privacy type of sh um, screening for um, cosy areas. So we just need the cinema now. Um, I'm not sure about... Okay, I'm going to move that. Let's put these over here. No, no, no. Uh, where should we put those? Let's move these over here next to the other machine. Moving things around really helps. You do end up with the ideal... That's a bit more camouflaged over there. Put these two together, and put a tree in front of it. I think that's pretty much where everything needs to be. Um, we need the cinema still. Let's put the peacock over there. Let's get the cinema out. Here it is. We didn't get the Japanese thing out, or the big slide. I think I'm going to eliminate them from this one. Unless I can find a secret place to put them at the back. There isn't anywhere. I think... Uh, an expansion is really needed here. Okay, so we've got quite a lot of space here, but we don't really want to pack it up and end up with everything kind of squashed up. So... Oops. I'll her out when she comes back, she's actually got some stuff. Okay, I think that's me done. I'm just going to show you the end result. From far away. Closer up, of course you can move these things around a little bit more just to get that last thing, but it looks neat and tidy. I mean, you could change the floor, you could add a few bits and pieces. We've got the staff working area, we've got the animals room, we've got the kitchen, we've got out back where all the um, eggs and stuff are made, we've got the trees, we've got to squash a few things here and there, but you can always move them around. And maybe do something with the floor in this area so that this doesn't kind of stick out like a sore thumb. And I'm going to actually put a couple of lights in the walkway, or even some mushrooms, um, or even some of these, just to make it look more finished and should we get a few more mushrooms they are really cute these mushrooms we'll get a few more the problem is fitting them somewhere so yeah i think i'm quite happy with that it seems like there's a lot going on but this floor is really busy i mean you could always just change this to grass or remove the floor but then you'll see that it gets boring but yeah that might do we'll change it to grass Grass has got the little tiny flowers in it, which is always really nice. Mushrooms here and there. 
I'll try and move that pond down a bit so I can fit another mushroom there. So let's do that now. Let's see if we can move this down. Yes, we can. That's good news. And we can pick up one of the mushrooms. Um, I think it's in the other one. It's in here. So that we've got an even amount there. I think that looks really good. Let's move those poodles because they look a bit messy over here. Okay, guys, I'm really happy with that. I think everything looks good. Let's take another look at it in the photo mode. Yep, I'm pleased with that. Okay, that's it from me, guys. Take care, enjoy your decorating. Peace out.